Hello beer tubers. I finally finished with the, uh, the Trappist Ales I had uh, locally available here, at least readily lo locally available. Hopefully I'll get back to a few. Um, I'm going to do one that just appeared on the shelf a couple days ago. Um, it's a winter seasonal from, from Bell's. It's their special double cream stout. Um, it's a uh, a little bit from the website, it says special double cream stout, derives this name from the, its smooth creamy texture, not the ingredients. Completely dairy free, this stout blends eight different specialty malts to yield a remarkable depth of flavor. With only a touch of burnt notes, special double cream stout focuses on the softer cocoa and espresso like aspects of roasted malt. Like I said, it's 6.1% ABV. Never had this before, so looking forward to it. I like Bell's products, so get this in a glass and see what we have here decent pour, I've got a dark brown, almost black um, beer, I can see Little little tinges of red around the edges. Got about a one finger, very uh, very foamy tan head. Good looking beer. Good looking stout. Let's give it a smell and see what we have here. Okay, getting a little roasted malt, a little almost grassy uh, smell, just a hint of chocolate. Um, slight sweetness and some coffee. It's not a real strong flavor um, or real strong smell. But uh, so let's get it in the uh, in the mouth and see what we've got. Now it comes out. I got a nice big complex malt malt flavors right up front. Sweet and creamy. Hold on, here comes the train. Well, that was quick, short, short train for a change. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of malts right up front. The head didn't last at all. Looks like there's some nice lacing on the glass for only 6.1% ABV. Very sweet, complex malt flavors up front. Um, it's a, it's a definitely a cream stout. It's smooth and creamy, not astringent at all. Might be just a hint of a little bitter chocolate and some grassy hops to uh, complement the sweetness. <clears throat> Got a nice dry, uh, roasty, uh, grassy finish. Um, a little coffee in here, just very light. Um, it's nicely balanced. Um, sweet up front, gets a little tart in the middle, and then ends with some some nice uh, nice sweetness. But I'm surprised there's not uh, not a whole lot of coffee in here. Um, surprisingly, for a stout, even though it's not an imperial stout. Um, it's it's a very light body. It's medium to medium light bodied. Um, I don't think it reaches medium, but it's very smooth and uh, very smooth and creamy. Moderate carbonation. Um, let me sit and let this warm up a bit, and I'll be back in a few with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been 20 minutes or so. Uh, not a lot has changed this warmed up, although I notice there is a almost a slight like sour cherry flavor as it's warmed up that's come out. But um, the profile hasn't changed a lot. Um, you're still getting your sweet uh, sweet malts up front, uh, just a little bit of just a touch of, of like bitter chocolate and uh, and like grassy hops in the middle of the palate, and then it finishes with a that roasty, gra uh, roasty, dry, grassy finish. I mean, it's a good tasting beer. It's not, 
It's not an outstanding stout. It's uh, well above average. Um, for my taste, I don't know. I, I like my, it's, it's, like I said, it's light bodied. Um, you know, for a stout, at least for my taste, uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's a good tasty beer. It would be, be a great introductory stout for, for somebody who says they don't like stouts. Um, for somebody who's had some good imperial stouts and uh, some even even better just regular stouts. Um, I don't know, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's good, it's decent. If you see it, pick it up. Um, but uh, I know the Expedition Stout is due on the shelves tomorrow. I've already talked to my uh, beer guy at the grocery where I, where I buy my beer. Set me back a six pack because I'm sure when it hits the shelves it'll be gone quickly. I think he said they only got like five or six cases. So I know it's going to be gone quickly. So I'm going to have at least one uh, six pack set, sent back. I'll try one fresh and probably review that maybe tomorrow. And then I'll set... Uh, yeah, I'll maybe have another one and then set the other ones back and do another review in six months or in a year, maybe two years. Um, I've I know I've already reviewed it, but that was last year's and it had, it had a little bit of age on it. So I've, I've never tasted one fresh. So I'm looking forward to that. So uh, the Bells Special Double Cream Stout. It's a 7.5 out of 10 for me. That's my personal taste. You might like it better. I mean, it's a good beer. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.